Welcome to Approaches to the Profiling Fake News Spreaders on Twitter tasks in English and Spanish. My name is Juan López and this is my colleague, Jacobo López. The first method applied to classify your samples employs the recurrent neural networks, making use of pre-trained word embeddings. For the Spanish language task, the embeddings loaded by your system were the Spanish billion words corpus and embeddings, which had been trained using word to vec For the English language task, the embeddings loaded by your system had been trained using GLOF from Stanford. However, we did not reach promising results making use of this architecture. At that point, we made use of classifiers provided by the framework Scikit-Learn and chose the gradient boosting algorithm and the linear super vector machines algorithm. We obtained the best results after adjusting the hyperparameters to the values of these tables. As you can tell from the table on your left, the results obtained with linear support vector machines were better in Spanish while gradient boosting performed better in English. Here we use a 10 fold cross validation where the average precision of the 10 folds gives the final precision result for each classifier. Then we tested our fake news spreaders detection system in English and Spanish on the official training and test sets in Tiwa, achieving the final results shown in the tables on the right. Therefore, we can consider that some tasks are not suitable to be addressed with some kind of system so far, as we saw with our implementation of LSTM, a traditional machine learning algorithm performed better in these cases. Eventually, we can observe that our Spanish language solution achieved better results compared to our English language solution.